Hey y'all, how's it going? Today I got something a little different. I wanted to try out this, uh, this Ryobi Tech 4 battery. I wanted to try to like take it apart and maybe replace it with a, yeah, with a good battery like this here. You know, these are like, uh, anywhere from 2400 amp hours amp hours, whatever it is, to 3,000. And I figured this, since one of mine was getting pretty old, I would uh, maybe try to replace the battery in it. <clears throat> so what I did was take it apart, and kind of I kind of messed it up. But I want to show you guys anyway. So... This cap is pretty much glued on there. There's really no way to get it off without breaking it. Okay. Now the main thing about breaking it is there's a little diode in there. And I broke the little diode. Now the diode is right in this area here where the rock, but where the, yeah, where the channel is for the battery to slide into the tool. And there's a diode there. And I broke it. I'll show you. Alright. It's right under here. You see it here? Somehow I gotta try to replace that diode. I think that is just for charging though. <clears throat> if you look inside the tool, it's only using two of the uh two of the contactors inside the tool. And then there's only two contactors inside the uh, charger but then there's five contactors on this battery so it's a mystery to me unless it, it powers a different kind of tool with more contactors than just two but anyway my small drill and my little light they only take they only have two contacts anyway there's a little uh, diode right under there so what I was doing I was squeezing this to get it to crack and I squeeze it here and that's how I broke it so if you squeeze it to crack it be careful right that spot if you don't touch that spot you might get it apart without breaking it okay if you get it apart without breaking it then you just kind of undo this these micro welds and these micro welds and get them soldered on to the new battery Put, make sure you put the pad in. Well, it's probably not necessary. It looks like it wouldn't be that hard. Except I busted the uh, diode. That's making it difficult for me. But anyway. What I was going to say also is. It looks like they have a good battery in here. Because this is that red battery that I just had. It's just like it, right? Almost exactly. So this is probably a good battery. You know, 2400 to 3000 milliamp hour. And yeah. So, if I was anybody wanting to rebuild one of these, it's, it's not impossible. Just be careful cracking it open. <clears throat> and then you just have to redo the two ends. There's no easy, looks like there's no easy way to just slide a new battery in there. I wish there was, but. Mm, Somebody might be able to do it though, you know, put a spring in the middle down this end with the wire on it, open this up, and maybe put a, something on the cap, or, yeah, something, it's not impossible, let's say that, anyway, eh, some, somebody might have an idea, like, you know, it's not impossible. Anyway, that's it for this Tech 4 video. I just want to show everybody how they were put together. So if you want to take it apart, you have a better idea of what to avoid. Okay, so you maybe you could even just cut it apart. Just avoid that, that diode and you won't mess it up. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.